We all hate razor bumps and ingrown hairs. Other people call them shaving bumps, coochie braille, Nestle crunch face. But as they always say, prevention is better than cure. Welcome back, it's the Whisker Man. I've actually gone out and I've grown some whiskers. Prepare to have your mind blown as I show you how I go from this to this smooth face without having to worry about a single razor bump or ingrown hair. Welcome to the 10 Commandments of Ingrown Hair Prevention. Now razor bumps and ingrown hairs are very different. Say this is your skin. When you shave, boom, the hair falls, but the razor doesn't cut the hair beneath the skin. But that hair will grow and it'll go back towards the skin and that'll cause a bump. But if you shave and the hair falls beneath the skin, it'll regrow and that'll cause an ingrown hair. But the important thing to remember is that razor bumps are prevented between shaves and ingrown hairs are prevented during the shave. The other bumps you can get from shaving are what I call razor burn bumps. And these are easily prevented and I'll show you how in the following commandments. These 10 commandments have you covered from head to toe wherever you shave. But if you're gonna shave something a little bit more complicated like your head, you might need additional tips. If you're dealing with a more severe case of razor bumps and ingrown hairs, you might wanna try something other than a razor blade. There are other hair removal methods like sugaring, lasering, epilation, clippers, and waxing. For now though, these 10 commandments are based on the steps you would use for a razor blade shave. And yes, ladies, these tips will help you too. So let's get started. Thou shalt not use filthy tools. Ingrown hairs love it when you ignore the cleanliness of your tools. The first step is to keep your tools as clean as possible. If your tools have been used before, they must be sterilized first. So boil some water, grab a spare toothbrush, a bit of soap, and rubbing alcohol. Pour the hot water in the bowl, place the tools in the hot water, letting them sit for like 10 seconds. Or if you're using electric clippers, just run them on their hot water. Pour the liquid directly into the water or onto the electric clippers, and then take a toothbrush and brush the tools, brush the head, clean it thoroughly, and then rinse it off and spray it with rubbing alcohol. Honor thy precious skin. Ingrown hairs love it when you use too many damn blades. As I started my shave with a beard, I've trimmed it down with electric clippers. Onto the razor, you want to avoid razors with more than two blades. The razor on the left has only a single blade, while the razor on the right is one with twin blades. This badass machete represents a single razor blade. With each pass, the hair follicle is tugged up, cut, and falls lower into the skin. This means a four-bladed razor technically counts as four passes. While the hair has long been cut, now your poor skin has razor burn. Thou shalt not take prep time in vain. Ingrown hairs love it when you rush the shave. Now that you have the right razor and it's clean, you'll need to prep the hair to be cut. Imagine the hair follicle is like a fresh broccoli stalk. For it to be easily cut, the hair needs to be softened with heat for about two minutes. It's also better to shave with clean skin because a razor blade creates micro cuts to your skin Skin that has been cleaned prior to shaving has the benefit of not getting any dirt or bacteria into those microcuts, which is another cause of razor burn. Leave the shaving cream on for more than one to two minutes to really soften the hair. Thou shalt not go against the grain. Ingrown hairs love it when you shave in the wrong direction. Shaving with the grain means shaving in the direction of hair growth, usually down. I've inspected my hair and created a face map which tells me what downward angle the hair is pointing. So my sideburns, cheeks, whiskers, mustache, chin, neck, Adam's apple, 
all have hair growing downwards, but at a slightly different angle. Thou shalt not overpress. Ingrown hairs love it when you apply excessive pressure with the blade. Pressing the blade to the skin might seem like a good idea. You're applying more pressure, which grabs more of the hair follicles, and this gets you a closer shave. But doing so will also guarantee you ingrown hairs. If you don't take prep time in vain, you'll notice that a gliding, smooth, light touch is all you need to easily cut the hair. Thou shalt not pass, pass, pass. Ingrown hairs love it when you make too many quick passes with the blade in the same area. Avoid running the blade over the same area too many times. This is another cause of razor burn. Plus, with each pass, the follicle is being lifted up by the blade, and if it falls beneath the skin, you have an ingrown hair. Also avoid running the blade down too far. With each pass, hair is accumulating under the blade, making each pass less effective. So, pass one to two inches down, then rinse, and repeat following the grain. Thou shalt not commit to overshaving. Ingrown hairs love it when you schedule shaves too often. This is what a cut hair looks like under a microscope. Starting the week with a shave and then shaving again midweek is a sin against your skin. This commandment is hard to follow, especially if you have to shave for work. One option is to alternate hair removal methods or trim the hair with an electric clipper. The follicle to the left has been cut by an electric trimmer. It has a jagged tip. The follicle on the right has been cut by a razor blade. It has a sharp pointed tip. This variation in cutting is partly what causes razor bumps and shaving irritation. If you have curly hair, that sharp tip is laying on your skin which causes irritation. And that sharp tip is what allows the hair to re-enter your skin so easily. Five to seven days after a shave, these follicles feel like a million needles prickling your skin. Thou shalt not clog. Ingrown hairs love it when you block their exit. Avoid using skin or pore clogging creams and lotions. These keep hairs from growing up. After a shave, keep your skin bare. Let the tiny army breathe and allow those newly shaved, super small, microscopic hairs to grow out just in time for the next shave. What about aftershave? If you can see in this video, my skin is dry because I avoid clogging the skin immediately following a shave. I don't use aftershave mainly because its main ingredient is simply rubbing alcohol and water. And that's exactly what I use post-shave. Keep thy smooth skin free. Ingrown hairs love it when you give them no room to grow. 24 to 48 hours after a shave, avoid super tight fitting shirts around the Adam's apple or constricting fabrics below the waistline. Remember to exfoliate and keep it holy. Ingrown hairs love it when you forget to exfoliate daily. Exfoliation should be a daily ritual, but there are two types of exfoliation chemicals and tools. While the chemicals didn't work for me, I created the Whisker. Whisker Groom is the only lightweight waterproof exfoliating brush featuring four levels of exfoliation for face and body. Whisker's micro bristles are specially designed to gently tease away the hair before it can re-enter the skin, preventing razor bumps. Whisker also works by exfoliating the excess layers of skin so that newly shorn hair doesn't become trapped beneath the skin. This prevents ingrown hairs. Whisker Body is also lightweight, waterproof, but features a curved shape designed for those hard to exfoliate body areas, legs, underarms, bikini regions, under the chin, and more. It also features dual flex bristles for soft exfoliation and medium exfoliation. The original Whisker has firm flex bristles that bounce back. It includes a shower lanyard for easy wearing or hanging to dry and is made of a flexible material that withstands damage and countless uses. So follow exfoliation religiously and you'll no longer fear shaving or ingrown hairs.
And that's it. Let me know what you think in the comment section. And let me know, should I grow back the beard? Did I miss a commandment? Ask any questions, I'll jump in. Maybe somebody else will as well. Don't forget to subscribe because I will be posting updates on my skin, which takes about a week or so for me to regrow any you know, facial hair, which is about the same amount of time it takes to see if you get any razor bumps or ingrown hairs. Mine will be zero. So that's it. I'm the Whisker Man. Stay smooth.